All right, what's up guys, Tom here. So if you remember, during the super ranking video, I shit talked Fugo, saying he was a bad character with the coolest stand. Everyone pointed out Purple Haze feedback, which is a side story, technically an epilogue of part five starring Fugo, which tries its, great, which tries its damnedest to redeem him. So I checked it out, but so I did that. I checked it out and I was like, you know what? This ain't bad. Do I wish it was animated? Absolutely. But it wasn't bad, so I had a good time with it. Let's just go and grab him. There we go. So I figured, screw it, let's dedicate a whole video to this character that I have criminally under-respected. Okay, okay, he's doing some Dio stuff. I'm not gonna break this. I don't think it's gonna do enough damage to justify it. We'll save the breaker for later. Uh, it's doing more damage than I... My dude's been practicing this one combo, that's for damn sure. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna kill, so I'm not gonna break it. I'm gonna break whatever the first thing he does is next. We gotta, we gotta win this. Go. This should do some. This should do enough damage to just kill him. Uh, if this works against the parry or the counter, whatever it is, it does. Okay, awesome. Waste the meter, maybe, but it's one of the coolest supers in the game. But as I was trying to say, the purple haze feedback is. I, I technically listen to it as an audiobook. It's like four hours long. Uh, it's an epilogue to part five. It makes this character way cooler, and his moves in this game reference purple haze feedback, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, man. There we go. We got him poisoned. So Fugo's playstyle in this game is basically you just want to get them poisoned as soon as possible. So he's gonna do this insane combo now, which he's definitely got locked down. It's it's a good combo. I'm gonna it's say it's a, it's a very good combo because he can just get an obscene amount of damage off it. There we go. Let's get some poison in there. I didn't realize what he was doing. I was not paying attention to what he was doing. I should have been. This is probably going to be enough to kill me. Maybe not. Wake up super? <laughs> you know I'm gonna. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I, I just let him stop time on me. I'm insulted. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dio, for the awful play that you just witnessed. Oh, we got him. Uh, we should have lost that. We definitely should have lost that. But holy crap, we got him. Our first game with, our first win with Fugo. Not bad. He's trying to prove that he's not a bad character. He's he's trying to prove to haters like me and Dio that he's not a bad character. Okay, we're dealing with part four of Jotaro, which I know that he has the punches into a low. Go in there and punch him. Far away punch. Drop some poison on the floor. Because Fugo's entire game plan is really just reliant on this poison. But that's what we want to do more than anything, is get him poisoned. Well, if you want to get Purple Haze feedback out, or Purple Haze distortion out, which is from Purple Haze feedback, that's like our optimal. Yeah, yeah, that's death. That's definitely death. So what I'm learning about Fugo, his only, like, good poke is, like, his down medium. Nothing else has any range. No, not me. I don't want to poison myself. We definitely need Purple Haze distortion out now to make this poison actually do something substantial. I fucked that. I completely fucked that up. We get the transformation out of it, though, no matter what, so that's fine, I guess. Okay, just a backhand to the face. Dude, Fugo's fun because his playstyle is unique with the poison. He's kind of like fucking... Uh, what's that character? That character that everyone hates in Street Fighter V. Uh, Fang. He's kind of like Fang because, like, in the way that you want to get the poison out there, just keep poisoning him. Just keep poisoning him. Come on. Tell me that's punishable. It is! Let's go! Oh no, we trapped him in the back rooms. Well, the JoJo back rooms. With the decapitated, said dog. Hopefully they don't show the dog. Okay, they're not showing the dog. That's good. I don't want to see the dog, but they, with the creepiness, that's fine. Alright, two wins as Fugo. A character who, uh, spoiler alert, before, before this recording, I was having a nightmare time trying to get EWs, which I could not figure out how to use his character, but we're slowly getting it. Alright, seeing Akira, now I'm very curious. What happens if I poison him while he does bite the dust? Okay, he's doing smart shit. He's doing better combos than me. Anyone still playing right now is, just do is doing better combos than I was. Okay, we hit him. Good. I was scared. I was very scared. Okay, Pearl is distortion. Let's go. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Problem is, I don't really have any good combos with Fugo. There we go, there we go. So I don't really have any good combos, but I have decent setups. Get the grab. Poison him again. 
grab him. It shouldn't kill me. There's no way. Like, I get it. Shiroad Attack is the greatest move in the entire game. But, it shouldn't do nothing. It, what? I was carried. I was carried during the Kira video. 100%. Dorno Giovanna. The boss himself. I did not even know that gold experience had it. Hey, what? I definitely did not press... Ooh, okay, hold on a minute. I definitely did not press that button, but I'll, I'll take it. Show them who the real best stand in Golden Wind is. Poison them, and all we gotta do is get one hit. Just one tap. Dude. Let's jump back, dive kick. That's, that's annoying. I didn't even know Jorno had that. There we go, let's get weird, let's get crazy, do some damage. There we go. Guarantee the poison. One tap, one tap, that's all we need. One tap, that's all we need. It's only good normal. It's also tough to tell what if others to stay in stand or user mode. I feel like user mode just has the better moves to get the poison on him. Swap and grab him, bro. He ain't the real boss, and he knows it. And he's gonna run up and tap him a couple times, bro. That's it. You know, I'm not actually sure how good Vanilla Ice is. Run up and poison him. Great. All right, so this guy's got the Vanilla Ice. Oh, that's unblockable. I didn't know that. Well, I guess I know now. Will this work? I don't know. Is it so, it's so hard to combo into this. It, okay. So off of just the heavy, at the three punch heavy, it works. But either way, we get to see the awesome super and we get the purple haze distortion buff added for the rest of the match because as far as I know, it's permanent, which is sick. I don't know what to do about that. Like it's unblockable. I don't know what to do about it because that's unblockable and it's really annoying actually. He's gotta not let him fucking do it. These, this dude's awful ass normals is the worst part though. There we go, get some real poison going. He just sure you can me? This should actually kill him, I think, maybe? Yeah, let's go. Good timing. Diavolo, and Diavolo I know is really good because he has like that free counter, which a few characters in this game have, and that's kind of what makes, like he's got this crazy dash, he's got that counter, which he's not using. So I think this might be this guy's like first game using the oh, okay, he's got the overhead. There we go. And then we can do one of these. Two of those biggest problem is just his bad pokes, man. Do it. Do it. Probably his distortion. Let's go. Okay, that's a big wind-up. We might have to hit him. No? That's unfortunate. The is just I can't hit him, is the problem. Fugo has no range. His only like good pokes are his jump in and his down medium, which is this right here. You know, the Goku, the Goku down two. But we gotta try and do what we can here. Get some poison in. No, oh, he's just letting me do it. So I'm just gonna mash circle and hit L1. Get some damage here, you know? This may kill to make up for that awful, awful first round. I think this might actually kill. Uh, maybe not. It's okay, we got the command grabs though, so we're fine. We gotta try and use the moves that can like get us in because Fugo's problem is A, the fact that I can't block an overhead apparently, and B, we gotta use this to keep him away. Easy enough. We got him. This should kill. Let's go. Send him into the infinite hells that Diavolo is known for. That's just one of Diavolo's many deaths, as we all know. Fuchi, have not seen Fuchi used online yet. Grab him, let's go, let's go. So this is going, we're figuring things out a little bit. I still have not like figured out like the optimal combo though is the problem. Google's benefit, I think, is really just the amount of chip damage that he can get off of anything. Like even if like he's blocking, if he gets poisoned, we're getting that chip. Like here we go. I hate when the inputs just don't come out sometimes, so that sucks. 
So we're taking this super, but he also just wasted all his meter. And he took my stand, though, which I'm not a big fan of. What the fuck? I did not know that was that powerful. Excuse me? Jesus Christ. We need to do this. We need to do this to recoup some of this damage and also get Purple Haze Distortion. But doing the super automatically awakens him, so I don't need to actually do the input after this. And we get some good damage. Finish him. He got greedy and went for chip, I guess, but nope. I'm the chip master, not you. Cannot let him do that super again. We've gone high alert for... I hate when the inputs get eaten, man. And my dude's got the Poochie corner combo. Doesn't matter as long as I get that chip. I don't really care because look at the damage he's doing. He's doing substantial damage. White to Sneaku. I don't like that. He went right over it. That's not good. He burnt meter for this. I hate when I go to send the stand out and I get the command grab. Oh, that's perfect. Finish him, finish him, finish him, finish him. Let's go. Thank you, Joe Taro. You made my life very easy. And I guess this is just my stage, so we get to see everybody deal with this. Everyone gets sent to the scary zone. That first round, though, is going to be a nightmare because I just died instantly after losing my stand. Dude, if there's one thing I've learned from playing this game, Jokyo is absolutely overpowered. This character has a move that just allows him... Of course, now he's not going to do it. That just gives him a free perfect dodge in the same way as Diavolo. But if he's not going to use it, that's fine with me. But he doesn't want to waste a meter for it. Okay, so that's disgusting, the overpowered. So in addition to that, he also has just a move that just gives him free protection. Damn, this game's eating my inputs a lot today. But Jocko, I had a horrible time with before. He's like Sub-Zero with the ice trap. And let's just do it. Let's just do it. Just get distortion out of this. That works against every other character. Why didn't that work against you? Maybe my angle is that maybe I was too far away. Maybe it only works in the corner. There's a lot of factors it could be. I lost track of what was going on in there. There was just so much happening. Come on, dude. Match. I'm not invincible during that. Well, that sucks. No, that's not what I did. I definitely did not press that. And that's going to cost me the whole game, too. That sucks. This might kill? Maybe not. Oh, it did! Let's go! I thought that I played myself by burning the super, but no! The damage was there. Probably the last match of the video, and we got cars, so I'm pretty sure it's really good. Oh, he's just going right for super. That's fast. Damn it. I just want to do something cool. I just want to get one cool combo with this character. Like, there's combos I can do. It's just, more often than not, it's better to just do that and just put them in the poison. There we go, there we go. Get that poison going. And then grab. Not going to kill him, but, you know. He didn't block low. He didn't block low. We're good, we're good. But, yeah, dude, I, I figured out a couple of combos I could do, but there's, like, no reason to do them because you're better off just making sure you get the poison guaranteed. I want to see something. I just want to see if this combo, because I feel like this one has to, like off the off the bounce. Okay, it definitely does in the corner at least. We'll find out if it doesn't, like if it does everywhere. I guess later, out of sheer curiosity. But there we go. We get distortion out of this for free. I'm well, not free. We sent a lot of meter to get it. There we go. Get that poison going. Poison him. Poison him more. There we go. Just, just keep throwing the poisons in front of him on the floor. Look at his health just disappear. Jojo, finish him off. Thank you. Just walk away while he does it. Appreciate it, Joe Turo. He just stood there, so he just kept throwing the poison at his feet. It just worked, dude. But I think this is it for today. Fugo is a character I underestimated in JoJo because of Purple Haze feedback, which is actually... Check it out if you have the time. Four-hour audiobook worth every second of it. It's great. And Fugo has my respect back. So, guys, let me know who you want to see next in the comments below. Last time I asked this, everyone told me to play the other Yoshikage Kira, or Kawasu. I actually forget what his name is after he twitches bodies with the other dude, but I may play him next. But if you guys have someone you want me to play, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more JoJo videos, among other anime content, and all the other stuff I do. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, everybody.